You're going to go to certiport.com. If you type in certiport.com, certiport.pearsonview.com pops up. Click on login slash register. You're going to go to new users. To create a user account with Certiport, you must register. So click on register. Select English, country or region. Going to select United States, since that is where I am from. Going to click I agree to the Certiport privacy statement. 61J7JA. And I'm going to click next. Type in your information, select your birth date, and your year. You're going to type in your own username and password unless your professor or the testing administrator gives you a set username and password that you must use. Um, and when you register, they tell you to use that. Other than that, you're going to write down your own. Please make sure you make a notation of this. For your security questions, you can select whichever one you would like and answer it appropriately. Click next. For your email address, And we're going to confirm the email address. For your phone, you can put your phone in there if you like. If not, your student ID or whatever additional information you would like. If you would like Certiport to contact you via email regarding new programs, promotional offers, offers and events, go ahead and check this box here. Um, country or region, like I said, United States. Your address, you're going to put your information in. where it says, if you prefer that any certificate of merchandise be mailed to an address other than the mailing address listed above, specify an alternate address. If you would like to do that, check this box and specify that address. If not, go ahead and click Next. Are you currently enrolled as a student part-time or full-time? If you are, say yes. If you are not, say no. Are you currently employed? You can say yes and answer the question. If you are, say no if you are not. Um, what best describes you if you're not currently employed? unemployed. Gender, male or female, and then select submit. Welcome to Certiport. You have successfully completed registration with Certiport and now have access to all the benefits granted to Certiport users through the Certiport profile. Please tell us what you would like to do next. You would like to register to take an exam. So click that and select next. Your registration window should pop up next. And your already registered for this if you're coming through our school. Um, you're going to register for Microsoft Office Specialist. So click on register. It's going to bring you up to the Certiport uh, Microsoft registration and click here where it says use my Certiport profile data. It's going to import all of your data. At the bottom you have two boxes that you should check or not check depending on your preference. The first one says Microsoft may use the contact information I have provided to contact me regarding important inf security product and event information. So you say yes if you're okay with that. The second one says Microsoft partners may use the contact information I have provided to contact me regarding important security product and event information. Click that and then click submit. Once this finishes it should take you back to the screen and show that this button is not going to disappear so that you're currently registered to take these exams. That is the completion of your certificate registration. Thank you.